Yeah, this is really something. This is the famous zero lot line building plan in Anchorage where you can just hear your neighbor through the wall. I think they actually own each individual unit on these. Well, or they're making payments to the bank who owns it. I just, I couldn't do this, you know? It's tiny too. I wonder what these go for. I'm guessing at least a quarter million. Oh, it just, man, it just hurts my brain to look at these things. Zero lot lines. I think about the last residential housing I was in in Spinard. I had these two crazy people I was living next to. One was my landlady. The other was the P. Well, several crazy, a bunch of crazy people. The list keeps getting longer the more I think about it. But in specific, it was my landlady and this drunk guy next door. <clears throat> and it got to be where literally every time I'd go out to do anything, like work in the garden, go to my bail box, they'd both come running outside. At first I thought it was just kind of a coincidence. And I started to realize they're doing this intentionally. Like their lives are so freaking empty. They got nothing else to do other than come out and look at me when I go to get my mail. Yeah, that was a big part of my heart failure was dealing with that every day. It went on for years and, you know, I kept trying to save up and grow my business so I could move and it just never happened. And consequently, my health was deteriorating at the same time, largely due to this and other stressors. I just, I think I got such bad PTSD from that. I can't imagine ever living in something like this to where there'd be a possibility that the guy next door could just come run outside every time I tried to start my car or get the mail or shovel the snow. Yeah, just these empty people. Wow, it's just... I mean, it, it actually, like, it kind of hurts me to be in some area like this. I feel like a, a physical distress. I start to get kind of a pain in my back. The, I start to kind of get an ache in my temples. And then you think about all the chemicals that, that go into building these things. I remember when I was in Hawaii, I was paying my way there by doing odd jobs. I ran an ad in the paper and just had more work than I knew what to do with. It was great. You know, I could go work for a day, lay on the beach for a couple days. I think in an ideal world, one day at work should be able to get you through by a week of leisure. That's the way things should be in J-Man's book. Not the other way around, just work and work and work. And like I am now 12 hours a day just to afford my snow cave. Of course, all that's not work. A lot of it's, you know, the transit like I'm doing right now. I like to take a slow transit into my office space, though. I try to take it easy because of my heart issue. Oh, great. Looks like I'm cold as act out here. Oh, wow. A metaphor for life, I think. I wonder if I can get around this. Probably not. Oh, boy. I ain't getting up that. Well, it looks like I might have to either get up this or hike back the way I came. Oh, that looks pretty freaking deep. I could do it, but then I'll have wet snow all over my pants. Oh, this guy looks like he's coming in here to follow me. See, it's starting already. Shoot. Morning. Morning. I remember years ago I had this high school professor. Is this guy going to this place? Or he's, he's trapped too. I had this high school professor that said he went to a, some kind of, I don't know, I think he was, he was a Mormon, so I think he went to one of the, some little Mormon missionary thing in Russia. 
when they first started allowing them in there. And he talked about how all the Soviet bloc housing was identical. Like mile after mile after mile of identical looking buildings. And I think about that every time I go into some place like this. Everything's identical, even the mailboxes. Wow. He said that not even a flower pot was put out to distinguish between the units. I hear so many of these criticisms of other cultures, but it almost seems like people are projecting American culture onto other cultures. You see people do that a lot. Like when somebody calls you a name, they're almost always projecting their own insecurities onto you. That's just something central to the human mind, the human psyche. God, and then you come out here and there's more of them. I don't know, it just seems like a metaphor for the pointlessness of life. Well, not really life, but life is the average American lives it. I think the secret to life is 42 when you really get down to it. A lot of people don't get that joke, that reference. 42 is from the series Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in which they made this, this super advanced civilization made this super advanced computer deep think to figure out the purpose of life and the thing thought about it for a thousand years and came back and the answer was 42. The joke being 42 was old computer code. It was the uh, computer code for the cursor, I believe, where you in input data. <sighs> Thus, the meaning is that the purpose of life, the meaning of life is whatever you put into it. That's what I've tried to embrace to keep my own fragile sanity intact in this sort of a world. The other thing that gets me is how nobody ever comes out. You know, you don't see people coming out on their porch anymore, barbecuing, because I think they instinctively know the people next to them are at least as crazy as they are. And they're afraid that person living next to them might be even crazier. And then once that mask comes off, you can never really put it back on. Once somebody shows you they're crazy, their level of crazy, you can never forget it. That's what I think about my last landlady. You know, that first time I saw that crazy mask come off, you know, I just saw what a loon she was. I was like, oh, wow. I saw it with my last landlord, too. First time they get drunk and send you a message on email, you're like, oh, wow, yeah, we're trapped again. That's kind of why I'm living the way I am now. I just, finances is just part of it. I just, I don't think I could ever get back to this, living like this, you know. God, just acres of these things. They all look identical. Nobody coming out, nobody even putting a flower pot out. Wow, man. It's like you wake up one day and you realize you're in the middle of the matrix.